Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is Stephen Grant being Stephen Grant for 9 minutes and 30 seconds. This is from the show Moon Knight, and it's from episodes 1 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. If you're new here, I react to content that uh, I've never seen before. That gives you a genuine initial reaction. Hopefully the, all the technology works out. I've had it once where the technology failed me, <laughs> or I failed the technology more, more than likely. Um, and I literally just threw it out. I said, well, you gotta pick another video because I've already watched it. <laughs> I'm not giving you a fake reaction to it. Now that that's out of the way, let's go. Morning, Gus, my little one finned wonder. Hello, <laughs> Mum. It's me. Just checking in. Um, I got your postcard. Putting it up on Gus's tape now. Yeah, it's very nice. He's feeling them, though. Keeps asking why I don't take them anywhere nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day, right? Hey, mate, still selling the old brushes and brooms, right? Right in front of my entrance. Got no problem with it. Cheers. Anyway, sorry I missed you, Mum. I'll try again tomorrow. Late as gate. Someone mistook the Great Pyramid of Giza for a rubbish dump. It's not like there's anything in there. Yeah, maybe not. Stevie. Um, I? I bet not be you again. Oh, sorry, Donna. Yeah, sorry. Got it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. You're not the bloody tour guide, Stevie. Stephen, actually, I am Stephen. So, sorry. Are you asking me out? To... Stop, please. If this is some weird audition to tour guide here, the answer's still no. I <laughs> know what, what I'm trying... That's actually crushing to hear. But, um, what I'm trying to point out... Damn. I'm not trying to slack off marketing, but... Uh, night, JB. Nice guy. Yeah, mate. Stephen? With a V? Anyway, if I am going to have a girlfriend at some point... So I get it. I get it. He's uh, he's quite the loner, is what I'm getting from this. <laughs> loner and awkward. I Obviously get it. can't have ankle restraints from a bed, can I? That's the definition of a red flag, isn't it? You're not supposed to be here. Yep, I completely agree. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. What are you doing? Don't just stand there. Run! Oh my god. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even have my license. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Come on, you bloody cupcake man! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Did he just throw the gun? I don't know what I'm doing! How are we doing, Gus? Sheep alright? Hmm? I wonder what fishies dream about. I don't think they have that concept. What the fish? Yesterday that fish had one fin, yeah? You would like that one I bought him. Today, what do you see? I see two. Two fins? Yeah, sorry. What? What do you mean? I'm, I'm at the restaurant. The steak is steak time. Yeah, I ate steak by myself, thanks. Two days ago. What? what? I thought we said Friday, today. Right. Welcome to Sunday. Come on, no. I think Friday still comes after Thursday, doesn't it? Sorry. What day is it today? You lost Sunday. days? No. So, oh, you? no. Yeah, you know. I think she really liked me. Oh, she loved the flowers. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to bring her around Damn. soon, I think. Yeah, I think you'd love her. Yeah, she's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Love you. Gators, gators. Saw that coming. You want some? <laughs> if you're Gus, 
from the bloody Queen of Sheba. Oh no. That would put me over the edge, I think. That would do it. Sorry, who do you think I am? What do you mean, who? What's wrong with you, Mark? What did you just call me? Who is this? Why did you call me Mark? Nero, the Armenian genocide, Pol Pot. Not nice people. She was betrayed. Was she? By indolent fellow gods. Oh. By even her own avatar. Avatars, blue people. Love that film. By avatar. You mean that? I mean. Anime. Stephen, stop it. Are you going to kill me? I must warn you. What you're about to see is going to melt your brain. Yeah? Come on. Listen to me. It's like Area 51, like MI6 bonkers, bro. All yeah? Right, all right, mate. You ready? Is that you, Scotty? Still Stephen. And yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. Are you crying? A bit. Yeah, a bit. Watch. <laughs> fast forward, for fast forward. Wait for it. How long am I waiting? What are you doing, you donut? No, just a minute. Here it comes. Wait, uh -oh. wait, no, just a minute. You messed up the loose. I don't, mate. Larry and maintenance is going to absolutely shoot you. It was a dog chasing me like a big, like a hound. Oh, yeah, Anna the Baskervilles, was it? Egyptian jackal. It was a jackal. I've heard it all now. Hello, man in the mirror. I was wondering if you'd pop up again. I know you're scared. A bit, yeah. I know you're confused. You weren't supposed to see any of this. No, well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? So, so what, what? Am I, like, meant to be some sort of mad secret agent or something? Yeah, it's a little more complicated. More complicated? What? Am I, am I possessed? Are you, like, a, a, a demon? You're or? in danger. And I can say this. You're gonna go lay down on that cot back there. You're gonna take a nice nap. You can't, are you joking? Sleep. I'm never going to go to sleep again. You hear me? Look, I don't care how bloody handsome you are. Tell me what it is you are. What are you? Be protect the vulnerable and deliver conscious justice to those who hurt them. Conscious? Yeah. <laughs> the Egyptian god of the moon. She's like, what? Oh, my god. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I eat one piece of steak and then, bam, I go bonkers. Look, I'm pretty sure we lost whoever was chasing you. Just drop the axe. No, no, it's not an axe. Stop with the accent, please. This is how I talk. OK, uh, get off the bike. No, 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 wait, 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 please, please. Uh... Is Avatar <laughs> because your mind would be so easy to break or because it was broken already? Is that Ethan Hawke? I've never seen him with long hair. I'm not broken. Just need some help. Sorry. If Amit judges people pre-evil, like before the fact, then isn't she judging an innocent person? I mean, a thought can't be evil, can it? I, I think about killing my boss all the time, but I, I wouldn't actually do it. Some in the suit. Some in the suit? <laughs> what are you saying? The suit. The suit. Some in the suit! Ah, suit! Suit! Ooh. Stephen, what the hell are we wearing? I don't know. She said I needed a suit. Yeah, the ceremonial armor from Conscious Temple, not Psycho Colonel Sanders. Oh, I don't know any of this shit works. <laughs> sharp, though. All right, where is the scale? Scale, oh, um... What's this? What is it posed for? Pretty cool, actually. Huh. I like this. <laughs> Get away from her, you! Yeah, I see you, you plug ugly coyote. You're in the wrong <laughs> ends, mate. You're in my yard now. Come on. Come on, that's right. Come on. Ooh, look at here. Look at here. Sting like a butterfly, sting like a bee. My name's Steve with a V. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 
Wagwan! I did it! You got planted! <laughs> <laughs> Layla! Did you see that? There's a hell of a punch back there. <laughs> Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw it some love. Now, as someone who hasn't seen the show at all, that was almost a recap of the first two episodes. Which, by the way, I did not realize how hilariously funny that show was. There was many a times that I cracked up during those situations. It's kind of interesting how he's teaching himself to be Moon Knight, basically. I've definitely noticed the pattern in superheroes. They're always like downtrodden or something happened to them or something went wrong or maybe they're just loners or just kind of outcasts and then they turn into something fantastic and they end up helping people. I'm not exactly sure how well that show did on uh, Disney Plus, right? Something like that. I have no idea how well that show did and you know how many viewers compared to the other shows that are on there, but I'm assuming that did fairly well, the first couple episodes. It seems like something you could easily binge and just enjoy the heck out of. So what exactly was happening between Thursday and Sunday when he missed that date? Was it like his other personality kind of taking over or something like that? Is it when he falls asleep, this other personality or other person kind of comes out and takes over? Is that kind of the transitionary period? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Link down below in the description for the Patreon. Thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.